the difference between a 3D um, intuition and a 5D intuition. And I think this is really important because this is going to be able to help you with whether your higher self is in action or your manipulator is in action because they're going to feel very similar. Your manipulator is going to be your most powerful persona. Your most powerful persona is going to be your manipulator. And uh, the way you do it could be being a nun, could be a mom. You know, it's like, it doesn't mean that you're bad. It means that you are surviving and you are figuring out how to get your way somehow, some way. And that's built a personality. Okay, so the way that you know it is it's very distinct. Okay, so 3D intuition that it, it actually could be coming from source and it will always start with an idea, an inspiration, okay, a potential solution, um, um, you know, a vision. And it will immediately fill your body with some sort of excitement or hope or yes or maybe Okay, and it's going to fill your body like instantly. Now, 3D intuition is going to say, go now and start to put this together. Right. Let's make some calls. Let's tell somebody what we're doing here. Let's see if we can get the money. Let's see. Let's go drive over there. Da, 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 da. It's immediate action, immediate action on 3D. And it might be you go to fill the body with excitement and light and then you realize that you're in lack. And you don't have what you need. And the manipulator is already using imagination to figure out how to get what you need or do what you need to do or what you're going to say because you really want to experience what you just thought of. And so now the manipulator is using 3D, which is circumstantial imagination, which means you're pulling your imagination from circumstances. That's 3D intuition. And you're going, hmm, what can I do? How can I say this? Blah, 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 blah. All right. It's an immediate, like going to want your body to move instantly. Go ahead in 3D and, and like make it happen. Or let's go write up this idea right now and then see what our options are to make this happen. It's like, let me jump right into circumstances and start manipulating energy. That is going to be your intention. Okay. 5D intuition is same rush. Okay. Except higher self is going to say, we need to build the fundamental energy source so that this will come to us. We do not move. We do not speak. We do not talk about it. We might do some research. We might put more pieces together, but we do not take action because when you get an idea, okay, then you've got to, that's the seed. It's like, I kept taking the seed out to the world. Like, look at my seed. Everybody want to help me with the seed? Let's all do this seed, everybody. Let's go. Just walking around with a seed that hadn't even sprouted nothing yet. And my higher self's like, no, you take that seed, that desire, that idea, that inspiration, that vision, and you plant it way down deep as you can into the darkness, which is in your silence. And you let it germinate in your body. And you think about it and you feel it and you visualize yourself doing it and you visualize the people, the places, the things, but you take no physical action in 3D. And when it is done properly, the idea will come to you, which means there won't be a lot of physical action at all, except being maybe nudged to the left or the right, or let me show up here at this time, your bridge of incidents will unfold but it should only feel literally like less than 10% of your whole action points. You're not calling, you're not manipulating, you're nothing. You're literally letting people now come to you and convince you of this idea. That's 5D intuition. Now you can see where the manipulator is going to have a really difficult time in your life. Because if that's where we are heading, as a collective, see, it's like God said there would be, you know, there would be light and there was light, which is instant manifestation. But see, we have all these aspects in the way that are trying to figure out how to get you light, how to buy you light, how to create light, how to how, how to steal light, how to think light. OK, and instead of just letting the state of being build a Taurus around you and the telepathic nature of your heart, once the seed has been planted, will begin to communicate with people, places, and things to line up the rendezvous point for your manifestation to reveal to you. 
which means that it's going to be on the seed's timing. And depending on how big the seed is, if it's going to require 100,000 people to be involved with it, well, then who knows? That might take a little bit longer than just desiring a free coffee in the morning. So this is where like my whole world started falling apart is because I, I'm just a visionary. I'll get an idea and I'll contemplate it and I'll think about it, but it immediately go, oh, I'm a, this person one. I want to be this person with this. I want this person to be involved. Oh, I want to go here. So I'm calling this person. I'm looking at funds. I'm looking at transferring stuff. And I'm already in motion in that masculine assertion of building, which was never my job ever. And of course, it would always, the bottom would fall out because I was literally taking my seed into physical reality with no roots, no foundation, no source of abundance connected to it, no life in it. It was just, I was the life and I had the seed and I was trying to put all my life into the seed and then convince other people, look at my seed. It got me basically back to ground zero. And so now it's like, I'll get an idea and I might not even take action for weeks on any of it because it's not ready. And then my manipulator literally has a field day because it's getting all of these ideas. It's getting all of this downloads. Oh, I should do this. I should call it. And literally I'm having to say, it's not ready yet. Okay. And it was interesting because as I was processing that wound, and this is your time wound, guys, time wound right here, because your manipulator literally prides itself on time. How fast can I get this? How fast can you do this? And when you don't have time, it's a very big trigger. It reminds you of how much lack you have. When you don't have time, all your lack stories start coming up. I'm running out of time. I don't have enough time. I have too much time because I have no money. You see, so your time wound is literally like part of your manipulator. And we've got to let go of the time. We've got to let go of the how. We've got to let go of the when. And the manipulator's entire personality construct is how and when. That's the, that is what, the inner manipulator's personality is built out of how and when and what do we need to do to get this inner child, whatever it is she wants or he wants now, right? And so then 5 ds like, great idea. Let's build it in the laboratory. Let's imagine it. Let's live it. Let's pretend it. Let's walk around as it, but let's keep it in the dark so it can fully germinate and it can grow roots. And then it will take care of you forever because it's alive now. That would be like this. It would sound crazy. But if I got pregnant and I just kept trying to take the baby out, look, I got a baby in here. But see, nobody would know I was pregnant for three months. And so you see what I mean? So it's like nature is teaching us how manifestation works all the time with diff different life cycles of different manifestations. And so when we're on a time crunch and we need it right now, well, I get, I can guarantee you your manipulator is triggered as F, right? Because.